Hello everyone, in this video we will go through the steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 10 version 21H1. A clean installation is a process that deletes everything on the hard drive and installs a fresh copy of Windows 10. This will not only help you to avoid upgrade issues, but you will start with a new installation which can improve system performance and fix existing problems. If you're going to use this option, it is always recommended to create a full backup before proceeding. You can check the video description below to find the link to the video with the steps to do a full backup and additional information including the release date for this update and more. In this video tutorial, I will be using the media creation tool to create a USB media to install Windows 10 version 21 H1. To start, you need to download the media creation tool from this Microsoft support website using the download tool now button. You can find the link to this page in the video description below. Just remember that if you download the tool before the new version is available, you won't install this new version. Once you downloaded the tool, double click the file to launch the installer. Now click the set button. Now select the create installation media for another PC option and click next. Clear this option and select the correct language edition and architecture if you have different requirements. I don't need to change the default settings, so I'm going to check this option. And now click Next. Select the USB option and make sure to connect a USB drive with at least 4 gigabytes of storage. And then click Next. Select the USB drive that you want to use to create the bootable media. And make sure that if you have any important files on this drive, you back them up first because using this process will erase everything on that drive. If you don't see the USB drive on the list, you can always click the refresh drive list option and then click next. Once the USB has been created, click finish, keep the media connected and then reboot your computer. Also, you have to make sure that your PC can boot from USB. Usually, to boot your computer from USB, you need to change the BIOS settings, which is pretty much different on every device. So make sure to check your device manufacturer for more details. Usually, you can access these settings by pressing one of the functions, delete or escape keys on the keyboard during startup. After restarting the computer with the bootable media, in the Windows Setup, click Next. Click Install Now to continue. If Windows 10 was already installed and properly activated, you don't need to enter a product key. After the installation, Windows 10 will reactivate automatically. To continue, click the I don't have a product key option. Select the correct version of Windows 10, if applicable, and click Next. Select this option to accept the license terms and click Next. Select the custom option to perform a clean installation of Windows 10 with version 21H1. Select each of the partitions on the main drive where you want to install Windows 10 and click the delete option. Deleting all the partitions allows you to have a single unallocated space to let Windows create a single big partition for the new installation. Just remember that removing the partitions will also delete any data on the drive. Also remember that you only need to remove the partitions on the hard drive that you plan to install Windows 10. You don't need to delete the partitions from secondary drives. Select the drive where you want to install Windows 10 and click the next button. Now we're going to complete the Autobox experience to finish setting up the installation. In this page, select your region 
and click yes. Select your keyboard layout and click yes. If you don't have to add a second keyboard layout, click skip. I am using a wire connection, so I'm not getting prompt, but if you are connecting to a wireless network, you will have to enter the password to connect to that access point. Now select the setup for personal use option. Also this step is only available for Windows 10 Pro. If you're using Windows 10 Home, you won't see this option. Once you select the option, click next. Now we're going to create a Windows 10 account using a Microsoft account. If you want to create a local account, you need to click the offline account option and continue those steps. Because a Microsoft account is the way to go, that's what we're using on this video. In here, enter your email, phone number, or Skype account that is connected to a Microsoft account. In this case, I'm going to enter my Outlook email address. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can click the create an account option that will take you to the steps to create a Microsoft account. You can also sign in with a security key using this option. Once you enter your credential, click next. Confirm the password for the account and click next. Now we're going to set up a pin to log into the account. To do that, click the create pin button. Configure your four digit pin and click OK. If you want to use your password to skip this option, click cancel. In here, choose your privacy settings. All the settings are turned on by default, but you can always disable them. And as you do that, you will get a summary letting you know how disabling this option is going to affect your experience. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to enable all the options. Then click the set button. Windows 10 can now help you to set up your PC for how you're planning to use it. You can use one or multiple ways and depending on your selection, the setup experience will suggest different tools and services to customize on the computer. So in my case, I'm going to select gaming, creativity, and business. But you can select any option that will fit your situation. Or you can click the skip button. Because I made some selections, I'm going to click the set button. During the setup experience, you can link your phone to your PC, but that's something that you can do later. So for now, click the skip now button. If you want to back up your profile folders to OneDrive, click the next button. Or if you want to keep all your files on your PC, click only save files to this PC option, which is what I'm going to select right now. Windows 10 can also install the Office applications if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription, but you can always install that later if you have that subscription. So for this video, I'm just going to click the not thanks button. On this page, if you're planning to use Cortana, you can check this option, which is optional. So you can use Cortana with the Hey Cortana command and then click the set button. And now you're back into the desktop. The last thing left to do is to reinstall your applications and restore your files from backup. And that's how you do a clean installation of Windows 10 version 21 H1. You can confirm that you're running the latest version of Windows 10 by opening the settings app. And then on system, on the about page, under Windows specifications, the version number should be 21 H1. Please remember to check the video notes for important information such as the release date for this new version of Windows 10 and much more. Remember to like the video, share it, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.